Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Haley and welcome to the moving vlogs. I'm gonna be looking like this for most of the time, so just get used to it, sorry about that. But I am starting to get packed up. I'm not gonna be in this apartment anymore, so that is gonna be a shift. If you missed what's going on in my life, then you can go watch this video. I did a get ready with me where I caught up on everything that's been going on. But before I ramble too much, let's just get into the packing because this is going to be a draining process and we don't need to talk it out. You can just watch what's happening. Text Jack saying, sorry I'm drunk. Why do I even try? Argue in circles for hours because what else can we do? When it started, but now it's so cold. And bring my back trying to fix this and still end up alone. But I'll keep trying and trying till it splits me in two. the best intentions about actually showing an empty apartment tour and the whole process but we had family help us move and I wasn't gonna like be like and I'm gonna give you a look around and then I have a home goods haul so this is our front door that's a coat closet and then immediately here we have a little fireplace which you know it's not the nicest fireplace in the world but it's cute and we're beginning the styling it's not you know there yet lots of boxes and so, okay, this is the living room. Started trying to style things a little bit. This is Nakia's desk. I love that there's a lot of windows, that's obviously nice. And then you turn around, and this is kind of the overview. Say hi. Hello. Um, and then, so then in this little area is the kitchen and dining room, so there's a little nook for the dining area, which not very usable right now, obviously, but yep. And then this is the kitchen. We like it, except that there's bugs, so that's great. But we had an exterminator come and it seems like it's working. Okay, so it's kind of nice because it's like a loop. So it kind of makes, to me, it feels homey. And here's the bedroom. We don't really have any like art or anything up yet, but I did try to like style this a little bit. I kind of like how that's coming together. And then, can you tell this place is made in the 80s? Here's the, oh, where's the light for this? Nope, okay. Which, light switches are hard when you first move in. So this is the closet, it's quite roomy. And then the bathroom. Washer and dryer are right there, but this is the bathroom. We mostly like it, um, but the one issue is that there's no drawers. So that really sucks. Um, we're gonna have to figure that out, but that is your empty apartment tour. It's not empty, sorry. Okay, so we, I have discovered since moving in here that I have a lot of beige. So um, for the couch pillows, we decided we needed to go for a little bit of color at least. So we, from Home Goods, this is all from Home Goods pretty much. We got this little pillow, and then we got this one, which is nice and bright. We thought that combo was good. I think that's on the color wheel, right? Orange and blue, they're across from each other, they're complementary colors. And then we wanted one more, so we got this little gray one, because, yeah, good little combination there. I love this. It's a little stool. It was $12.99. Oh, pillows, the big orange one was $25. The blue one was $30, which is kind of expensive, and then this one was $16. This was 13 bucks, and I'm gonna put it in the kitchen. I don't know what I'm gonna put on top of it yet, but really like this. Then we got some kitchen towels, because we discovered neither of us had any, because our roommates had always supplied them, I guess. Again, trying to sort of stay away from beige. Also, sorry about the bad lighting. I'm not used to this place, and it's raining, so. This 
kind of ties in the blue and the orange but it's a candle and i thought it was pretty and i almost got a brownish beige one but i didn't because i wanted to have growth in my life so got some hand soap for and dish soap for the kitchen this was 12.99 this was five dollars so this little guy i don't know if you can tell it's actually like a dish soap holder but we got it to put our sponge on um in the kitchen it looks a lot better in person but it was $5.99 I think. Then we got this to put our tooth brushes in, $7. And then I got this to put my cotton rounds in and Q-tips I think, $7 also, wow. And then we needed storage since like I said, there's no drawers. So I got this for eight bucks. All right, so we got another one for like cleaning supplies and stuff. I got this to put in a bowl. I'm not gonna put all of it in there. Like I don't really, I don't know about all that, but got that and then I got candlesticks because I have candlestick holders and then I got these two candles because I'll show you the vision for this in just a minute but I got these two candles as well as this candle you'll see what I'm gonna do with that we just got a new espresso machine so to put the pods in we got this little thing which we both agreed was the best one it was only eight bucks so I think that's it for now um, we now that we had our kitchen exterminated we will actually put up kitchen stuff so you can watch us unpack that how exciting is that this is not a flattering angle all right well the objective is to fill this with these little pebbles glad i got two bags because that would not be enough that should be enough because we're gonna put candles in here now Maybe I should have done candles first, I don't know. Didn't really think it through. I don't know if my vision is there. Maybe I don't have the vision. Let's see, how does it look on camera? It looks okay on camera. Um, I don't know that this is like the best thing I've ever seen, but like, yeah, I don't know about this. Well, we will see what happens. Clearly we hung these up above the TV, kind of like the look, but um, we got some plants. So, not plants, but like greenery. This is very stunning to me. I think I did a fantastic job, thank you. Oops. I don't know if I ever showed y'all I had to shave these down with some third grader scissors, and now they fit, so cool. But anyways, I really think this pulls it together. And then here, it doesn't look as pretty in camera, I don't know, maybe it's not that pretty in person either, but it's just some eucalyptus and baby's breath. Got some baby's breath here. I'm gonna let that dry out because baby's breath dries out really pretty. And then finally, a little bit here, which this one is looking very sad. I have to get the other type of eucalyptus that stands up a little bit better, but obviously, lots of boxes still, but I think that we kind of have the bug situation figured out. We haven't seen one in a while, so here's a moment of truth. Do I see a bug? No bug there. I'm like terrified every time I open these things. Okay, well, I'm not gonna open anymore because I'm not that brave, but we are pretty sure we have the bug situation figured out. Thank you. 
I wish that you could see how good these look. Oh my goodness. I'm obsessed with this. I saw this in Architectur Architectural Digest. I can't remember the couple's name, but I'll put it on the screen. And I got coffee beans from the thrift store and framed them. This is art. I love this. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. So this one's from Brazil and this one is from Guatemala. Okay guys, so that is all that I have for y'all right now for our moving content. I'm sorry that it was a little bit all over the place, but moving is a little bit all over the place. So I still hope that you enjoyed and if you did, please like and subscribe and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Thinking of you, thinking of you.